Just what they get in the big house. It's the Joey and Rory Show. With this week's special guest, Bradley Walker. This week's episode brought to you by Roper Apparel. Wear the West. And now, he may wear the overalls, but she wears the pants. Joey and Rory. Kitchen, you can chase me around the bed. We will set the neighbors talking with our hooping and our hollering. One, two, three, it's hot and seek. Oh, I find you and you find me. Tag your in, pretend we never met. Hey, before our love life goes to snoring, let's act like we're on our honeymoon in an effort to avoid the Babe, I've thought of something we can do Oh, let's pretend we never met Like we ain't falling in love yet I will chase you around the kitchen You can chase me around the bed We will set the neighbors talking With our hooping and our hollering One, two, three, it's hot and seek Oh, I find you and you find me Tag your in, pretend we never met gonna do when I close my eyes Oh, don't tell me, let it be a surprise All stuff like this is kind of frightening But dang, it makes it so exciting Oh, let's pretend we never met Like we ain't falling in love yet I will chase you around the kitchen You can chase me around the bed We will set the neighbors talking With our hooping and our hollering one, two, three, it's hot and sick, oh, I find you and you find me. Tag your it, pretend we never met. One, two, three, it's hot and sick, oh, I find you and you find me. Tag your it, pretend we never met. <laughs> Baby, you got you some nice new overalls on. Them are fancy. These are my show overalls. I like them a lot. I wear them on formal occasions. <laughs> Like this one. This is our very first Joey and Rory show episode. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for more entertainment. Won't you think of me too, Josephine? His and Hers, the brand new album from ACM winners Joey and Rory. Wonder how you carry on. Featuring Josephine and When I'm Gone. We'll both be fine when I'm gone. Order yours now at joeyandrory.com. Hon, you know how on 60 Minutes they always have this ending part where Andy Rooney gives a little commentary on what he thinks about stuff? Right. We've got kind of our own version of that with our neighbor, Wynn Varble. Let's see what he has to say. You ever notice how people get married to one another and their bodies start growing outwardly? <laughs> I've thought about this and studied on it a long time and um, I'm convinced that the human weight loss gland is located in this lower joint of this finger right here. And when you put a ring on or something constricts that gland, people start swelling a little bit over the years, you know. It takes a little bit of doing. Well, I thought about it, because <coughs> every hypothesis had, had got to have some kind of counter hypothesis, you know. So what's the adverse effect of this? You unconstrict the gland, like when you get divorced or something. Right back skinny again, every time. Think about it. Think about it hard. Makes sense.
Well, I wrote this song with a couple of buddies of mine, Wynn Barbel and Don Poitras. Some good friends, and uh, it sat on a shelf for probably six or seven years. Nobody was really interested in the song. It got close to being recorded by George Strait and a number of different people, but it never happened. And finally, this young kid, it was his first song that he ever had out. His name's Easton Corbin, and it ended up being a big hit, a number one song. And of course, you love the song because... I was really happy when the song went number one. We really needed a new riff on our farm, and this song did the trick. So. Put a brand new tin roof on our farmhouse. But now, I'll do it for you the way it was originally written. Imagine a dirt road full of potholes And a creek bank with some cane poles Catching a channel cat I'm a little more country than that Think of a small town with an old hound Laying out front of the courthouse As the old men chew the fat I'm a little more country than that I just want to make sure you know Just who you're getting under Girl, I'm not the kind to two time or play games behind your back. I'm a little more country than that. Well, think of a Merle song from days gone with a steel ride that's so strong it sends chills. I'm a little more country than that If you want a brick home in a school zone With the doors locked and alarms on Well, I know you're way off track I'm a little more country than that Yeah, I'm sure that you've heard Those three words from others But they fell this ring ain't something that I mean to give you and then take back. I'm a little more country than that. I'm a little more country than that. I'm a little more country than that. Hi there, I'm Joey. And I'm Rory, and welcome to our farm outside Nashville, Tennessee. When we go to work, whether it's on tour or here at home, we wear the West. That's right, where it's that perfect snap shirt or that perfect pair of boots. When you wear Roper, you wear the West. Learn more about us, Joey and Rory, and about Roper Western wear at eroper.com. One of my favorite things in the world is to go have breakfast early in the morning at a little coffee shop. And I got lucky enough that my sister and my wife opened a restaurant about five years ago. Now my wife's been busy working on the road, traveling and singing with me, but we still have the restaurant and she still works there with my sister when we're off the road. Let's check in and see what they're making today. Y'all come on in, stay wherever you want. Hello and welcome to Marcy Joe's Meal House. I'm Marcy. And I'm Joe. Thus, we created Marcy Joe's. We have a very special recipe to share with y'all today, but before we get started with the food, we wanted to share with you a little bit of background of how we got started with Marcy Joe's. So Marcy, why don't you go ahead and tell us, I mean, this was kind of your creation. Right. <laughs> well, um, I used to pass by this old place all the time going to the farmhouse, to your house. Mm -hmm. And one morning I was heading to your place to have coffee and I just thought, you know what, this would be a great little meet and three. It's so, so charming. I, it is. It's really it charming is. In here. 
And so I just, you know, you didn't have a lot going on with your music and I didn't have anything going on and you're a wonderful baker. I, you know, I'm a great cook and I thought, why not, you know, try to do a little meet and three. Yeah. And so uh, we just decided to do it. And well, and another reason we wanted to do that was we didn't really know any of our neighbors really in this little community of Pottsville, Tennessee. And so we thought, what better way to meet our neighbors is to right. open a restaurant, serve food, and they will come. And yeah. by golly, that's exactly what they did. Yeah. We've been open now for five years. I know. Everything we make here is homemade, all from scratch. And you can really taste the difference, too, when you, when you yes. come in here. And I think... Or we, at least we feel like people come in and they just see this atmosphere and see what we have going and they really fall in love with that. And you know what's wonderful about it is that I've always wanted to own my own restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's always been my dream. I've always worked in restaurants, you know, so hard. And uh, I just love it. I just love, you know, just the atmosphere, the people, the people that we meet. I just... Well, and you're I so think, good at it. I you're, just think it's wonderful, yeah. yeah. And so it's just... And you know, you're doing your music the way that you do. You're living your dream, I'm living mine. It's just a wonderful thing. It's a good combination. Yes. Well, let's go ahead and get started with our first recipe. Okay. This is our prized cake. It's called the chocolate Coca-Cola cake. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. In here on our heart plate, we have our Coke, our cocoa, our butter, our vanilla, all the good stuff. We're gonna melt this down really well. In our dry ingredient bowl, we have our flour, our sugar, our salt, and our soda. Yeah. So we're gonna mix this. This has already been melted, so I'm gonna add these things together. After we add this in, we're gonna put in our eggs and our buttermilk. Then once you mix this batter up, it is very, very thin. So what you wanna do is make sure you you're not too worried about it being so thin. Spray your 9 by 13 pan. Bake it in the oven at 350 for what? How long? Um, 30 probably minutes? about, well, 30, 35 minutes, I'd say, yeah. Okay. And then uh, it'll come out just gorgeous. Yeah. A lot of people worry because when you do put it in the pan, it looks runny. It looks like it's not going to be done, right. but it does. It cooks wonderful. So we actually have a baked cake here. As you can see, it really fluffs up nicely. It's a very dense cake. So yeah. it's very, very thick. So while I'm continuing making this batter, Marcy, why don't you go ahead and tell us about the icing, which is okay. by far the best well, part Well, I've of the already pre-made the icing, but I can tell you real quick, you're gonna do a thing like she just did, a saucepan. You're gonna do hot fudge, you're gonna do butter, and you're gonna do cocoa, and you're gonna melt that, and while that melts, then you're gonna take some confectioner sugar with a little bit of vanilla extract, and you're gonna stir it together, with your electric mixer. Right, yeah. yeah. And then you're gonna take it off the hot plate and you're gonna put it in here in your confectioner sugar and you're gonna mix it together. And it just, it's gonna be really thick. It's really good. And then you're gonna take it and you're just gonna pour it, right? Oh my goodness, look how thick that is. It's beautiful. <laughs> that is beautiful. We gotta have somebody come over here and taste this. Actually, I spotted Roy over there with his okay. mama. I have a feeling he'd like to take a bite of this. All right. He loves chocolate. About as All much right. as you do, honey. What you got over here, darling? We got us some Coca-Cola cake. Would you That's care for nice a cut? A little bit of a smidgen? I would love that. Good. What you been doing over there? Well, I'm with my mom and my brother. We're just catching up. As you know, I come down here every morning Let me see and have breakfast. And if they're open and we're off the road, I'm here. There you go. Tell us what you think. Hmm. The icing's really good. It is. Oh my it's gosh. Really That's oh messed my up. Forget how good that is. Uh huh. That's good stuff. Is it good? Oh, that's good. Awesome. That's Great. wonderful. Well, from the superstar himself. <laughs> Everybody, that's our chocolate Coca Cola cake here at Marcy Joe's, where we're changing lives one bite at a time. Well, our first guest to ever appear on The Joe and Rory Show is a dear friend that we met down in Alabama through music. We got a copy of his CD about seven years ago. We could not put it down. It's so good. He's such a throwback to traditional country music and he knows anything and everything about bluegrass and old-timey country music. Y'all please make welcome our dear friend Mr. Bradley Walker. I'm Bradley Walker. I'm from Athens, Alabama. I'm 33 years old and I work at Browns Ferry Nuclear Plant and I've been singing country music my whole life. Well my mom always says that I probably was destined to sing because she worked in a music store uh, while she was carrying me. So I was hearing music before I was ever even born. I made my first stage appearance at four years old in a local variety music show here in Athens called The Musical Explosion. I sang Elvira, the, uh, the Oak Ridge Boys song Elvira. And later on, 
met the Oak Ridge Boys and was actually able to sing with them back in 1989. They gave me my very first break at what I consider the real side of, of the music business. So I blame them for, for changing my life forever. All my family has supported me um, in music because they know that's what my true love is and what I've always wanted to do with my life. I was born with a form of muscular dystrophy. Um, it's a non-progressive form of MD, which is a blessing to me. Uh, I've been in a wheelchair all my life. That's all I've ever known. I know that because of my situation, people are gonna, when I come on stage, they're gonna see a guy in a wheelchair. But when I open my mouth to sing, I want the wheelchair to disappear, you know, and just for them to hear great songs and to hear a voice, hopefully that they like, and hear songs and from a singer that they can connect with. I feel like I'm a very blessed person, um, and I'm a firm believer that the good Lord's got a plan for everybody. I could have been born and been able to walk, but then again, at the same time, I could have been born without being able to sing. So I can't imagine my life without singing and without music. And I've just always felt like that's what I was put here to do, is sing. Oh, I know you're out there somewhere And I dream at night of rolls of chestnut hair And I would walk to California if I thought that by some chance you might be there And I keep thinking I see your face Then it's gone without a trace Oh, I've been every place I thought you'd be why have I just gone drifting on and on When maybe you're the one who's lost at sea I have sailed the bright blue waters And I have overlooked an ocean full of tears Just for a glimpse of heaven's daughters Before you smile at me and disappear and I keep thinking I see your face Then it's gone without a trace Oh, I've been every place I thought you'd be Why have I just gone drifting on and on when, baby, you're the one who's lost at sea Tell me why have I just gone drifting on and on When, baby, you're the one who's lost at sea Go from rags to rich
This is our fourth annual Bib and Buckle Fest. It's where we invite all the people that know our music or ever heard of us to come to our farmhouse and spend the day with us. And as you can tell, there's as many people here as there are cars. There's a lot of folks here. It's pretty darn neat. We've been Hosting, signing autographs, taking pictures, um, visiting all sorts of wonderful people. People from all over the place are here, and it has been a ball. So now, I've just got to make myself look presentable so we can go out and sing. We've been doing these get-togethers every year for probably six or seven years. We've been having kind of big cookouts that kept growing. And then we finally turned it into our bib and buckle fest, which is, I guess for my bib overalls, and Joy always wears, wears belt buckles. And uh, we've done that for it's four years now, but I think the idea was that we travel all around the country and we play shows in other people's communities. And we get to see all these places and be around their lives. And we thought, wouldn't it be neat if we invited anyone and everyone to come to our community and be a part of our lives? So, we turn the front porch into a stage and we turn our front yard into the seating area and it's it's an incredible time. Oh, whoa, that gave me a shiver up my spine. This is the moment a lot of these people have been waiting for, for us to come out and play and tell some stories and sing some songs. So we are really excited. We're feeling good about it. Ladies and gentlemen, Joey and Rory. Not planning our day around the TV set Paying our bills and staying out of the day That's important to me That's important to me There are people from 85 years old down to two months old In the shallow part of the fishing hole me, I'm fishing a whole lot deeper. I don't just want to catch it's, It seems like it's kind of unusual for artists to open their homes to their fans and friends. And we just thought, well, that sounds like a good plan. We should do that. My husband and being a wife and the very best mother I can be. That's important to me. Wow, this has been fun, hasn't it? It sure has. It went by way too fast, though. <laughs> Believing our dreams will take us somewhere. Still being ourselves if we ever get there. That's important to me. That's important to me. Don't forget about what's most important in your life. This has been such an exciting day, it's such an exciting time, our very first episode ever. So please, we hope that you will join us again next week. Same time, same channel. I'm Joey. And I'm Rory. God bless y'all. <laughs>